cleaning some gunk off my wall socket with a fork yesterday and gave myself just the nastiest little shock. And it made me realize how short life is, and it's too short for this boring grading system. I mean, A, B, C, or D, we can do better than that. How about if you do badly, I give you like a sticker of a rain cloud, and if you do good, maybe like a sticker of a race car? It doesn't have to be a race car. There's this cube on the screen, and it bounces around all day long. And sometimes, when it looks like it's going right into the corner of the screen, it hits the wall and bounces away. And we are all just dying to see it go right into the corner. Molly claims that she saw it one day when she was alone in the studio. <laughs> okay. I believe she thinks she saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was amazing. Who said I didn't see it? Did Sam say I didn't see it? I saw it. And another thing, papers come in all different colors. Why are we printing everything on white? Oh, come on! Yeah, right? Exactly. It's just boring and bland. It's never going to happen. Dude, you got to believe. And so maybe instead of just like putting your grade at the top, I could make it like some sort of riddle. Wait for it. Like sort of like a, like a Where's Waldo situation. Yeah! Hey. All right, yeah. Yeah, this will be great. Good job. Woo. All right. Woo! Some days as a teacher, you are just on fire. What can I say? Hello and welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm Noah Hevington. And I'm Samuel Chapman. To start the show, we'll continue with our push for NHS to achieve our goals of respect, responsibility, and determination. You wanted me to see you about this? Yeah, Maggie, this is not your work. I'm really disappointed in this. I know that you can do better than this, and I know you have great determination, and you will do better next time, right? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Ms. Yobel. Determination, a noun, a quality that makes you continue trying to do or achieve something that is difficult. I'll never know what I missed on that first day of health class. Don't text and walk, because you will get hurt and die. Don't text and hold up traffic, don't text and bump into people. Just don't do it, promise? Okay, now everyone put your phone away. As we reach our second month of school, I wanted to catch up with students of all ages to see how everyone is settling in. Let's roll it. Oh, 
All right, uh, starting high school was like one of the biggest fears that you had coming in. Uh, I didn't really have any fears. Oh, coming. really? Yeah. So what were you looking forward to? Uh, I don't really know, just seeing everybody again, everybody coming to the same school. Mm -hmm. How does it feel being a freshman walking into high school? Um, I mean, I was scared at first, but now like I'm getting used to the school and the people. Yeah. Um, how do you plan on tackling the rest of your three years? <laughs> just like with an open mind, you know, talking to people I don't know. All right, if you had to get advice to any freshman, what would it be? Don't run to class in the hallways. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Nate, and I'm about to ask him a question. Um, do you have any advice for our new freshman this year? My advice for the freshman would um, probably be stay out of the way. Um. Uh, I was nervous about coming to school with my brothers and uh, like not being able to find my friends <laughs> and everything. Here you go, Hayden. All right, that's fine. Um, <laughs> for me, it'd probably be just getting everywhere on time because middle school is so much smaller than a high school and you really, like Jerome said, you don't know where you're going and what to expect. What is one thing you are looking forward to for any time in high school or if it's this year or next few years? Just meeting new people, I guess. All right, thank y'all. I can't believe that kid walked on. Well, I think number one is to do your best in your classes and, and to do, try to make the best grades you can to have a good solid GPA because that's going to set you up for really good things in the future. Uh, take advantage of some of the Google apps that you have, especially with a calendar uh, application and those kinds of things to, so that way you're putting all your assignments in the, in the Google apps, uh, especially the calendar function. So I think that would really help you a lot to remember everything you need to learn. Mm -hmm. Next, we take an inside look at our featured fall sport of the week, the Lady Knights soccer team. You know your boo part two. What's pet peeve she has? Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my hair looks okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that annoys me too. But when he pulls out my backpack, that's very annoying. Where was your all's first date? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in Birmingham. What is y'all's anniversary? We got this one. Go. 
I'm it's good. Fast. Yep. Is it right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Year two? Mm-hmm. Good? Did we get it? <laughs> oh, good. Where was your all's first kiss? Game. Yeah, it was behind the bleachers. I was okay. Game. It's kind of really detailed. <laughs> I was gonna write that, but that wasn't the first one. Oh. Same night. <laughs> <laughs> if you were gonna cook a meal for her, what would she like? Do I have to cook? <laughs> okay, so I can just like buy candy or something. <laughs> Do you even eat? <laughs> That's my favorite. No, I don't like lasagna. What? Lasagna is gross. Who said I love you first? He did. <laughs> <laughs> he actually said love at first sight or do you believe in love at first sight and I no, said no that's a lie <laughs> <laughs> <But> nope <laughs> no he <laughs> no. said ily that doesn't count it counts. no it doesn't Kinda. you forced me to say it after you said that he said ily and then i said ily too no. he said no you have that's to not say what it that's not what happened <laughs> yes what you heard <laughs> How did you propose? All right, this is a funny story, but okay. <laughs> yeah, and we did get robbed. <laughs> That's our crazy. hotel door didn't shut all the way, and we came back from dinner, and my gym bag was gone. So we yeah, filed like the police report, and then at like one in the morning, we got a phone call from the cops, and they found the, the homeless man with my gym bag right, right across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Our level one students have been working hard on their first project of the year, the silent film. Let's watch some of the standouts.
You know what kind of pet Miss Mafe has? Yes, a snake. A hamster. I can't tell Not a hamster. Or a cat. A turtle. A turtle. Do you have a guess? A parrot. A parrot. A fish. Nope. What? <laughs> what kind of pet does Miss Mafe have in her office? A little lizard. What kind of pet does Miss Mafe have in her office? A zebra. Spotted lizard of some kind. It is a, um, shoot, it's like a salamander, but it's not. I know the name, the kind of species. An iguana. Iguana! She's a gecko. What kind? <laughs> gecko. What kind of gecko? Um, blue gecko. I have a leopard gecko who lives in my office. His name is Skittles, and that's because I also have Skittles in my office for people who come to visit, but not too many people have found them yet. Um, so my leopard gecko is a little over a year old, and he is nice and friendly, so you can stop by and take a look. Thanks for joining us on this week's episode of The Roundtable. Homecoming is just around the corner, and we need to have the best student section we've ever had for this game. So we'll leave you with this video to help you get excited. Have a great week, and remember, live, live by, by the sword. sword. How are you feeling about tonight's game? It's going great. You know, we're still fighting. We're still keeping it going. Uh, they always do. They came out to support our team.